On today's episode, the three problems with if it fits your macros. Welcome to the Calorie Conundrum Podcast with Coach Strick. Join us as we expand the weight loss conversation to beyond just calories and dare to ask the question, why does eating less and exercising more sometimes not produce the desired results? Here's Coach Strick to discuss this calorie conundrum. Welcome to the Calorie Conundrum Podcast. This is Coach Strick. And today I will be talking about the pros and cons of a diet strategy called If It Fits Your Macros. If It Fits Your Macros, also written IFYM, is a diet strategy that became popular a few years ago and is known for letting you have your cake and eat it too. The basic premise of the IIFYM diet is you have a set amount of each macronutrient, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, you are supposed to consume each day. And what you eat doesn't matter as long as you hit your macros. Meaning you can literally have your cake, ice cream, or any other food that would typically be off limits as long as you stay within your allotted macros for the day. You can see why this diet method became so popular, and for some, they have used it with great success. But as the title of today's show indicates, there are a few problems with IIFYM that are often overlooked. Before we get into the three problems with the If It Fits Your Macros diet strategy, I want to cover three pros to this way of eating. The number one pro and previously already discussed is the fact that no food is off limits and there is less restriction than typical diets. This means you are able to pretty much eat anything as long as it fits into your daily macros allotment. If the thought of saying goodbye to your favorite snack or delicious dessert has you saying, I could never give up X, Y, or Z, and keeps you from even attempting a diet because you already know from past experience that you will fail, then if it fits your macros, may be worth a try. The second pro to the IIFYM diet strategy is its structure and boundaries. Although the diet is based on the fact that you can eat whatever you want, there is still structure and boundaries as to what is allowed in the form of your daily macros goals. This forces you to become hyper aware of the macro amounts in what you are eating. IIFYM also requires you to track your food or macros throughout the day and requires you to stay within your macros limits. Although some dislike this type of tracking and accountability, I personally believe it is very powerful. And the lack of structure and boundaries is what causes many people to gain weight over time. Your planning ability will also improve on this diet because you will learn very quickly that you have to plan your meals to prevent running out of macros too early in the day. The third pro of if it fits your macros is it can make things simple. When anything can potentially be consumed, it becomes easier to find and fix meals and hitting your macros for the day is often just a matter of determining what amounts of which foods you will consume to hit your numbers. This is much easier to do if there are no banned foods. Now that we have discussed the pros, Let's get into the three problems with if it fits your macros as I see it. A big problem with IIFYM are the people promoting it. A lot of time I see two type of people promoting IIFYM. One is bodybuilders and the other is the naturally thin people. One thing that most bodybuilders don't tell you in the caption to their 10,000 calorie cheat meal is that most of the time bodybuilders are typically eating healthy food. There may be a few exceptions, but for people that are serious about bodybuilding and are looking to compete, even if they are technically eating IIFYM, they are mostly eating healthy food, not donuts. Also, most people that are getting closer and closer to a competition show date are eating healthier and healthier types of food, not whatever they want. I feel like IIFYM is misrepresented when someone posts a picture of pancakes, a bowl of cereal, or hamburgers and fries they eat, and put the hashtag IIFYM because that meal could have been the only meal like that that they had the entire week or even month in some cases. The other type of person I see promoting IIFYM is the naturally skinny person. The person that could literally eat anything and not gain weight. If it fits your macros it may work for you but when someone can eat whatever they want and not gain weight is promoting a diet in which you can eat whatever you want I would proceed with caution. The next problem with the if it fits your macros diet 
is the accumulation of toxins and lack of nutrients. The human body is amazing, and it can go through all kinds of nasty, terrible things and come out on the other side to tell the tale. But this fascinating ability of the human body is part of the reason we have a global health crisis. This is because if we ingest a toxin today, or if we are deficient in any one nutrient today, unless the toxin was extremely toxic, or the nutrient level was critically low, we won't die. Not only will we not die, we probably won't even be able to tell. This is a good thing for our immediate future, but if we zoom out and look at our health and body in terms of years and decades, the story begins to change. Those toxins and nutrient deficiencies begin to make themselves known by presenting as symptoms. First as things like low energy, headaches, and skin issues, and then they develop into more severe symptoms over time, ultimately resulting in overt disease. It's hard to mentally associate a disease that we may have in 10 years with a donut we are eating now, but over time the accumulation of toxins and the lack of nutrients takes a toll on our body's ability to maintain health and vitality. Maybe the benefits of weight loss and the structure and boundaries IIFYM gives you will outweigh the potential negative consequences in the years to come, but I doubt it. Your body is built, detoxed, and repaired with the food you consume. And if you are consuming more things that are causing stress in the body and not enough things that are helping to build and repair the body, then your body will break down. The last problem I see with the IIFYM diet strategy is that of addiction. We have now had a few podcast guests discuss the idea of food addiction and believe me when I say it is a real thing. If you are truly addicted to certain types of food, then having any amount of that food will have you fiending like a drug addict. You wouldn't tell an alcoholic that they could drink alcohol as long as they fit it into their alcohol macros. Why? Because the alcoholic is addicted. If you are addicted, then completely eliminating a certain type of food may be the only way for you to stick to any form of a diet plan. This is why the keto diet and the idea of fasting has gained so much traction in the past few years because these diet methods are eliminating foods that are typically more addicting. So there you have it. If it fixed your macros can give you the freedom to eat anything you want. It can give you structure and boundaries to follow, and it might be an easier diet to implement. But keep the problems mentioned in this podcast in mind when choosing to give IAFYM a try. Ask yourself, who is promoting this diet, and what does their diet really look like, not just what they post on social media? How's your energy? skin, and headaches. These are just a few of the possible symptoms resulting from a lack of nutrients or an accumulation of toxins. And be honest when you ask yourself, am I addicted? If the answer is yes, then you may want to reconsider the if it fits your macros diet. But just like all things though, I urge you to look into if it fits your macros and maybe give it a try for yourself. That is the only real way you will find out if it will work for you. And with that said, this is Coach Strick saying thanks for listening, and remember, when calories in, calories out doesn't work, that, my friend, is a calorie conundrum. This podcast, including Coach Strick and guests, disclaim responsibility for any possible adverse effects for the use of any information contained herein. Coach Strick and or guests may recommend products or services in which they have a direct or indirect financial interest. To find out more, please visit www.calorieconundrum.com.